can't sleep anyway. You have depression and insomnia. That sucks. Jesus. I mean, for me, the depression is what helps me sleep. It's like, why do why why even bother doing anything else? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have insomnia too much. I don't I don't I don't know how to uh, how to solve that one. I don't I don't really know how to solve depression either. I don't I don't have a cure for it, but I do have a treatment, which is work. If you work hard every day at something, well, I, I, I say you. Uh, if I work hard every day at something, I don't feel as depressed for, for that day. So like, you know, it's like it's like daily medicine. Hard work keeps depression at bay. It's not a uh, it's not a great idea. I don't know, you know. Well, if I figure out what works for you. What 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 is your right? Like, what do you what do you want to work at? It can be a hobby. It can, it can be like some activity you like that you just devote time to. And then if you spend a lot of time doing that and get better over time, you'll feel better. I don't know, man. I don't I don't have an answer. I I deal with depression on my own too, so. People always talk about depression like it's a bad thing. Like, oh, you're depressed. Well, happiness is a choice. It's like, well, is it? Is happiness a choice? Well, fucking maybe you guys should choose to be depressed. I mean, depression just seems normal to me, right? Like, you're intelligent enough to see through the bullshit. And you're creative, so you can imagine better world that's out there. And then you're confronted by what what actually exists and that causes um cognitive dissonance which leads to depression that, that seems natural to me seems like a, a result of how how the world's set up not necessarily a failing on your part you know what i mean like like how many fucking people are depressed nowadays it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's a really common problem. So it can't just be you. It can't just be me. It's probably something we're all doing. Something the way society is set up. Rewarding the wrong kinds of things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Is this entertaining? Your only hobbies are watching Twitch, gaming, listening to music, and being on Discord. Okay, so... I mean, listening to music isn't really a hobby. I, I I would argue that listening to music is not a hobby. Uh, why don't you try learning music? Why don't you try teaching yourself guitar or piano? Um, learn learn how to play some of the songs that you really enjoy rocking out to. Listen to listening to music is a fun activity, right? You can do it to other things, but it's not really a hobby. I. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, convince me. I'll put, I'll put up the meme of the, the guy sitting behind the desk. Convince me I'm wrong. I, I don't know all the answers, but... And listen, like, watching Twitch, also not a hobby. Start streaming Twitch, man. Gave up on the rest of your hobbies because you became too depressed? Ah, jeez. I'm sorry. Like, 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 it's real, for sure, man. I've... I've, I've, I've given up on lots of things, man. Like, if things don't work, you know, you don't have to stick them out. I started uh, Twitch, and I was doing pretty well. I got a bunch of followers in a row. Uh, it's it pretty much when Mario Maker 2 came out. But then I just, I, I hit a place where I just didn't feel like doing it. You know, like, I didn't feel like doing anything. And so, probably six weeks, I just didn't do anything. But that didn't make me feel better. You know, like I that, that actually doing nothing day in day out makes me feel worse. So, you know, got to man up and, and do something. I don't I don't know I don't mean to misgender you or right. Like I, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but really you gotta the initial push has to come from somewhere. You you gotta you gotta just do it. I don't know, man. Uh, why don't you uh talking to girls is fun. That gets the adrenaline pumping. 
so I'm, I'm making a lot of judgments here that you're a guy and that you are also into girls. But, you know, substitute girls for whichever gendered person you are attracted to and go chat them up on the street. Go say hi to them. Uh, you know, you know, those, those kinds of things that get your adrenaline pumping, but, but are like, like it's got a very socially, there are high stakes, but, but actually there, there's nothing that you're risking by just talking to somebody, right? Like in your mind, you think it's this huge deal and then you can get your palms sweaty. You can get nervous. The thing about being nervous is you got to just treat that like it's the best thing. Think about being nervous like it's like it's getting high or something. Like like you're going out to smoke a joint because of all the changes in your body that is going through. Right? You get all excited. Your your heart starts beating faster. You you become really aware of every moment. Uh think about that like being on a roller coaster, like you're going skydiving for free. And just start to appreciate when you're nervous and really like don't try to stop being nervous. Try to really feel what being nervous feels like and appreciate it, right? Like like, really feel what it feels like, but also enjoy it. You know, like the feeling when you have your arms up on a roller coaster and it's like, wee, I can't believe that this is so fun. Yeah, man, they're, you're 16 years old. I, I know that you probably aren't going to want to hear this, but this is the best time of your life. Like, like, I I know, man. I know. I was 16 once, too. And, like, when you're – the thing is, when you're 16, you feel – you have emotions more strongly than you will ever have them for the rest of your life. So all the goods are better than they will ever be, and all the bads are worse than they will ever be. Like, it, it's hard. It, it It's tough to deal with, and it's – you know, it. But the the thing is, man, that that your body works right now, and uh, and the older you get, the less it will work. And and it's weird. Like you can't appreciate what you have until it's gone. I know that. I like I I know that. But if you could just try to see the good in what's around you right now. You know, go go out, go go to school every day looking for uh, another thing that's fun. The thing that that you're probably taking for granted about school is that you are surrounded by people. Why do I sound like professional help? I don't know, man. Should I stop? I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to be honest with my help. I I'm not trying to sound like professional shit. I'm I'm trying to be real. I'm try I'm trying to say what what I've found and what I've discovered in my life. And, and maybe some of that is like actual. Look, man, you brought up the depression. So well, I just started talking to you about that. If, if you don't want me to talk about it or focus on it, uh, I don't mind moving on. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not trying to target you or tell you how to live your life. I was just trying to give you a, give you my point of view. Give you things to help out. You know, you don't have to do what I say. Just think about it and come up with your own answer. But I'm telling you, man, you're gonna become. You're gonna be. You're gonna be 24 before you fucking know it. Uh, all all of your high school friends will have moved away. All of your college friends will have moved out. Most of them will be starting families. You're going to have friends start dropping off one by one. And it's going to be a lot harder for you to, to get a group of people together to do something that, that's enjoyable. It just becomes way harder. So do it now. Do it now, man. Get, get to know all the people in your school. Uh, talk, talk to people you might not think about. Uh, you know, Facebook is, is like weird. I've, I've started to realize like there were a bunch of people in high school. I just didn't even pay attention to, but that they were actually hilarious. And I just, I never even talked to them. And I am the one who missed out on that wonderful friendship we could have had, you know, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Do not, do not. Why, why do I sound like professional help? I guess it's because uh, I'm I, in 
talking to you, I'm also talking to myself. You know, it's too it's too late for me to go back to high school, but you're there now. You can you can make use of uh, the things I'm saying. It's too late for me. I'm a middle aged man playing video games to one fucking person, right? Like, I mean, don't listen to me. What what the fuck do I know? What the fuck do I know? <laughs> I know that uh, having fun is important in life. I know that you're like, uh, yeah, high school is such bullshit, man. Uh, I know. It's it's really not fair what we do to you. Uh, adults just take all the annoying teenagers that we don't want to deal with and we throw you all into one place together and just say, fucking deal with it. And we are, we like, we arrest you if you don't show up there. It's not, it's, it's messed up, man. Uh, show! Oh, my God! That was the closest I've been. That was the closest. Oh, you like me? Thanks. I appreciate that. That makes one of us. See, I can do this depression thing, too. I, 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 I can do the depression thing, too. Did you see how casually I said that I don't like myself? Bam! Street cred. <laughs> 